mathematician and the magician is the mathematician. The mathematician. It's ridiculously early on a Thursday morning. Happy Thursday, little Thursday thunder, little power coming to you. And this is Thursday Thunder and the Repossible Podcast. I'm your host, Bradley Charbonneau, bringing in every single week. And today we have the Mathemagician. The Mathemagician comes as a concatenation of the Mathematician and the Magician, or Kronos and Kairos, or Every Single Day and Magic. Here we go. I first want to say something. I think this is rather profound. Are you sitting down? The mathematician and the magician is me. And here's a little secret. The mathematician and the magician, the mathematician is you. The question is how much of one and how much of the other is within you and when and why and how. I'd like to say one thing here and I'd like you to listen. The mathematician is you. Creativity comes from consistency. I, it might have been Stephen King who said, it's amazing. I just get a flurry of creativity every morning at six o'clock when I sit down to my computer and start writing. What does he mean by that? He means his consistency his getting up and his sitting on the computer and starting to write, whether he wants to or not, whether he feels the inspiration, whether he channels that strike of creativity or not. The consistency creates creativity. This is also what I'm, I'm getting at this morning. It's Thursday. It's ridiculously early. I've even been up already an hour. And the first thing that came to my head was Mathemagician. Now, why did this come into my head? Because I've been working on these ideas, Kairos and Kronos and Mathematician and Magician, for weeks, if not months. And this, this churning, this consistency of working on a project, whether it's a book project or a podcast project or a YouTube project or whatever it is project, I'm working on it consistently. So my conscious and subconscious brain, there's again another balance, conscious and subconscious. That could also be the mathematician and the magician. The conscious and the subconscious are working together to clear this up for me, to have some fun with it, to make progress, right? So the conscious me is, you know, all right, let's get up and, you know, go to work or let's get up and walk the dog. And then the unconscious or subconscious me is going to hit record on the, on the phone when I have inspiration. So how did I get that inspiration? And a lot of people say, oh, I just wish the, you know, the lightning struck me once in a while. And my answer to that is how much is the, ma the mathematician leaving the door open for the magician to come in. In practical terms, what are you doing on a consistent basis? I think daily is the simplest. What are you doing on a daily basis that allows the extremes, that allows the, the, the big thunderbolt, right? Uh, the, allows the lightning bolt and the thunder to rumble. What what are, are you doing that opens up the gate? It opens the door. And maybe or maybe not, the magician is going to walk through today, right? It's not every day. The magician is, is typical. The a magician, if we go with cliches, the ma mathematician is there every day, 6 a.m., sitting down and doing his work. The magician sort of shows up whenever, I, I see it as a female, whenever she wants and, uh, you know, she's late and <laughs> she's casual and she's fun and she's cool and she's hip and she's silly and she plays jokes. 
And the mathematician is more of a buttoned up guy and he's more the accountant. You know, he's the accountant and she's the marketing, right? Or she's the advertising. And they need to work together because frankly, they are the one person. They are me. They are you. And how are we going to get these two to coexist? And not only just to survive, but to thrive. And this is where the word mathematician comes in. And the reason I like mathematician is because it, it's intriguing, but also it it's more understandable. I've been not struggling, but I, I wanted to call my book series Kairos. And although it's intriguing to me and a handful of wackos who would know the Greek word, I mean, I didn't, I didn't know what the word meant before a few years ago when I first heard it, when it was explained to me. And now I know it and love it and live it and breathe it. But before that, I didn't know what Kairos meant. Kronos, I wouldn't have necessarily known that either, other than I could puzzle together, you know, chronological or something, and or chronos, something with a clock or time, or chronology, right? The sequence of events. So there you go, there's a sequence of events, right? Chronological order or chronological time. So it's, you know, every single day, that's a very chronological title. Whereas I have another book called Surrender, which is very magical. So there you have it. It is uh, super early. It is Thursday. I want to give you a little bit of Thursday thunder today. And that is my word for you today. Mathematician. I think actually I'm going to go change my book series title to Mathematician from Kairos. Because I think, I don't know, you can let me know what you think. If you want to leave a reply to this, this podcast or to the YouTube channel, let me know what you think about the difference between you know, this word mathematician or Kairos and Kronos. Just let me know if you think that's or intriguing or more understandable or more appealing or more like, gee, what's that, what's, what's that all about, right? Or is it more approachable even, right? Is it something, oh, I can get into that or I could see myself having a little mathematician and magician. Okay, what I really want you to take away from this week's episode is this idea that people ask me, how do you have all these ideas all the time? How do you, how are you so creative, right? And I, <laughs> I don't think I'm so creative. I, I think I have the chronological, I have the mathematician in me. I'm very, I'm very strict. I'm very disciplined with myself. I wake up early. I do the work, right? I walk the dog. I do my meditations. I'm very strict and conscientious about the mathematician. I'm a good mathematician, right? And I actually like math, although I shouldn't bring it to math so much as the stable, you know, it's the brain, right? It's the, it's the mind. It's that guy. So I, and I frankly think that's an easier part of us to work with. So when you're wondering how to be more creative, I would answer the answer is to be more consistent. So you want to be creative, be consistent. Start a daily habit. I mean, look at me, November 1st, 2012. That's what started me on my 30-day challenge that ended up being a 2,808-day odyssey and 39 books later. So this is uh, from me to you, from my mathematician to your mathematician. Start a daily habit. I don't care what it is. I don't care how little of it you do. As long as you do it, absolutely no excuses every single day. We're back to it. My, my best-selling book by a long shot every single day. We're back to it because consistency creates creativity. Word of the day is mathemagician. I'd love to know, love to hear what you think of that word. And if you think that merits my upcoming three book series to replace the title of Kairos or Kairos and Kronos, but mathemagician, the combination of mathematician and magician and then broken down into the books energy trajectory and frequency which frankly fr frank ollie frank ollie are also a little obscure words but hey I'm, for now i'm sticking with those so have a fantastic thursday i wish you rumbling energy in your heart and uh, take it into the weekend and make it a great one thanks for listening thanks for watching see you next week